now we are focusing on non renewable energy resources in that non renewable energy resources we are discussing first about the coal from ancient period we are aware of coal this coal is obtained from underground sources many years ago as i discussed millions of years ago that the uh, some book it is given as nearly 300 to 400 million years try to get meaning million is 10 lakh multiply by 300 to 400 so before that the jungles are buried inside the land resulting the plants or that animals whatever that present in that they get compressed out because of very very high pressure and because of very high temperature and carbon remain in that so ultimately our body is made up of protein protein is nothing but carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen now carbon remain carbon is acting major part so carbon remain is in that so that is called as coal now coal is not only consisting of carbon apart from carbon coal is consisting of sulfur say our body is also containing considerable amount of sulfur phosphorus like that other elements so when we are talking of coal it is not necessary that only coal uh, only carbon must be present but considerable amount of carbon is present a variety of coal are available we are calling that as anthracite bituminous lignite peat and all so uh, i am not able to remember all these but i remember only two thing peat and anthracite peat is having very low carbon content whereas anthracite is having highest carbon content in that now when carbon is there as we are going by this reaction that carbon will combine with oxygen to give carbon dioxide same way if sulfur is present and obviously in coal it is present so sulfur will combine with oxygen to give sulfur dioxide so energy is released that is not that considerable here because we are not burning out fuel for sulfur but sulfur dioxide is also produced now what is the problem of sulfur dioxide when sulfur dioxide i am writing here sulfur dioxide is combining with water two step reactions are there first we are getting product that is called as h2so3 so h2so3 is called as sulfurous acid so i am pronouncing this sulfurous acid and in some step we are getting here H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid no doubt don't, don't consider this is very highly concentrated in atmosphere already amount of sulfur dioxide is low so whatever the acids are produced they are also very very dilute but still important thing is that they are present now this is the problem of burning of coal that while coal is burned sulfur is produced a uh, sulfur is producing sulfur dioxide when the sulfur dioxide is coming in contact with water we are getting sulfurous and sulfuric acid now this coal is used as a wide source of energy from old period till that united states of america then russia and china i am revising three names united states of america russia and china these three nations are having more than 50% world's coal deposit no doubt that uh, this is very 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 high but all these three big nations are having big deposits area wise also they are big technologically also very big and now uh, energetically they have very good deposits of coal the fourth number obviously there is for india 7% of world's deposit of coal they are found in india no doubt that is also very high amount 
as compared to USA, China and Russia no but still it is considerable amount now whatever the required energy of present world more than 50% energy is getting by burning out coal see the seriousness of problem uh, ok uh, we can decide this way that uh, we are going to discuss both way, plus point and minus point plus point of burning coal using coal as fuel that uh, coal is solid state fuel so while using it there is no danger of explosion so this is very nice concept to use coal in that action now depending upon amount say it is not only used as fuel but as reducing agent also this is serving uh, try to recollect refining process of iron or uh, extraction of iron then we are mixing out coal along with that whatever the material is having why in order to reduce that as well as heat that and so these are the advantages plus point of using carbon uh, coal but minus point we have to look at more that number one it is consisting of considerable amount of sulfur no doubt if you are using anthracite the plus point is that when we are using anthracite emission of sulfur dioxide is less but thing is that some amount of sulfur dioxide is emitted now second thing this is non renewable or uh, we have to wait for 300 to 400 million years to get another production of coal and therefore we have to use it carefully as beginning of this lecture we discussed that we are using this earth as our last generation is working on earth no this way if you are using then it's troubles but tremendous extraction of coal is going on throughout the world now it is producing carbon dioxide and uh, carbon dioxide you are aware that it is called as greenhouse gases because of that rising amount of carbon dioxide the world's temperature is increasing up in order to overcome that we have to minimize the use of coal as a fuel now second we are focusing on oil and gas usually oil and gas we are saying together because they found it together from higher plant big plant we got coal but from smaller the animals or plants usually we are calling that as phytoplankton we are getting uh, oil and gas now the process is something different uh, when sediments are there in sediments these microorganisms get buried under the ocean under the sea or under the lake and we are getting oil from that also now uh, that oil or gas that is a product say this is alkane series chemically we should sure aware that this series is called as alkane so this is alkane series where earlier members are having gaseous state higher the member we are getting liquid and still higher we are getting solid try to recollect our organic chemistry lecture of uh, this uh, because of temperature and pressure they are converted into oil lighter members they are called as gas try to recollect in our alkane lecture we are calling that as homologous series homologous series is a series of member say for example uh, it is ch4 then c2 h6 that is ethane c3 h8 that is propane you will find that every time each member differ only by ch2 just check out everywhere you are getting number that is different by ch2 so this way a fixed difference is also now as we are moving down down means what carbon number increasing now the properties also change out 
the boiling point and melting point property change up increases gradually so methane in this concern should have less or least boiling point then ethane then propane so like that if you are coming to c8 member then it is having considerable high boiling point and it is obtained in form of liquid if you are going to c20 number then it can obtain a solid at room temperature so this is the way we obtain oil and gas into gas whatever the mixture that is obtained under the sea or under the uh, land under sea or under lake sea uh, ocean water that is called as crude oil this is very thick slurry like substance and usually having grayish color that is undergoing different processes in uh, refinery we are calling that as oil refinery petroleum refinery where that petroleum products are formed now obviously water is a naturally coming out substance from that that is see uh, that is called as natural gas now apart from natural gas certain other gases are also obtained and then when we are starting out heating we are carrying out here fractional distillation then sometime pyrolysis cracking like processes uh we are getting from that now i am not explaining here exactly because this is not our chemistry lecture but we are obtaining here petrol that is uh, we are calling as a uh, mixture of c6 to c8 here we are discussing c8 so c6 to c8 mixture that is petrol then diesel kerosene oil then wax candle wax whatever we are obtain obtaining petroleum jelly and uh, obviously variety of other substances whatever the remaining that we are calling as tar as fat